Hey guys, good morning. Okay, let's begin the story. During my first marriage, my then husband and I lived in a small little studio apartment. It was really, really cute. It was right around the corner from where my parents lived. Like, honestly, if you went into my parents' backyard, you could see the apartment, and you, if you looked up, you could see out the window to where our apartment was. Well, actually, this is the second apartment in the building. The first one was a small little studio. The second one was a big two-bedroom. Enough with that. So, in our first apartment, which was the little itty-bitty studio, we loved it so much. It was like right off the entrance. Honestly, you walked in, walked in a little, like the foyer part, and then walked up the stairs, and around the corner was an apartment that was ours. I'm going to talk with my hands with this one because, trust me, you're going to want me to, you know, it's the way I can explain it. So, we're in this apartment. We loved it. It was great. It was cute. You always love your first apartment. It doesn't matter. It's a cute little thing. It was the best. So, one night, this was shortly after I was diagnosed and I'm home. I was home all the time because I was trying out all the meds and drugs and everything, so I had to... And I'll be stabilized. So I had to stay home. So it was like late at night. Mind you, my ex at the time was studying to going to be a, a law lawyer. So he was going to law school at night, doing paralegal work during the day. So he was home and he was, he had crashed and I was asleep and we had this big, king size bed. We didn't have a frame or anything. It was the box spring and then the mattress and then that was it. Um, newly married. I forgot. It was like fall. I forgot what month and everything. But I know it was like for some reason 3 o'clock in the morning was always in my head so I'm going to say around 3. Now, mind you, I'm asleep, and he's gone, zonked. So I'm on one side, he's on the other. We're facing both outwards, and I'm sleeping, and my eyes are closed. Now, you know sometimes when the lights are on, and you can see, like, shadows in the light with your eyes closed. It's easy to do. I was asleep, and the only light source at that time was the street light coming in through the window behind like blinds and curtains so there was very little light but there was light my eyes are closed I can still see this shadows so I was a little concerned you know I remember getting up not getting physically up I remember just like opening my eyes looking around I didn't see anything so I went back to sleep and I just kept feeling this throughout the whole night. And I looked around again and I realized there's nothing here, but I'm still seeing the image with my eyes closed. So I was starting to get scared. So I just closed my eyes and covered myself under the blanket. So you're talking total darkness, but I can still sense that there was something there. So... I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping. My eyes are shut, shut. They are not going to open again. I could sense something in the room. I could sense it. I could feel it in the room. Actually, and then the next thing, I could sense it coming into the bedroom. And coming to my side of the bed. Okay, I was creeping out because I could sense it. Now, mind you, I'm under the covers like this, just like keeping my eyes tightly shut. And what really did it for me was okay, I will show you. I'm sleeping like, you know, this is me asleep. I could sense whatever it was looking at me right here. Not here, not here, not here, not here. Right here. 
and I didn't even dare open my eyes. I couldn't even dare open my eyes. Now, mind you, I'm under the covers. My eyes are tightly shut. I was, you know, I knew that I could sense it. I could feel that there was something there. And I could just sense it staring dead into my eyes. And the idea of what it was, I knew it was beyond what I could imagine. So I wasn't opening my eyes. I was terrified. I have never been terrified before by anything. I was terrified. Terrified. So I was basically just sitting there going, you know, please let me go to sleep. Please let me go to sleep. Please let me go to sleep. Oh, gosh. Just sleep. Just kick in. Sleep. Because my eyes were so tightly shut. It's that type of thing where you're trying to force yourself to go to sleep. And you force yourself to just to be that exhausted. So I did. And eventually it did happen and I did fall asleep. The next morning, just before he left for work, I turned to my husband. I was like, did anything happen to you last night? He's like, no, I slept fine. And I told him what happened. He's like, are you okay? And I'm like, sure. He's like, nothing bothered me. And he went off to work. Because it wasn't a person in the house. He's like, I'll check the locks and everything. Everything seems to be fine. I just felt a presence, honestly. So throughout the whole day, I'm like looking around, looking around. It was such a small apartment. I could stay in one room and basically see where everything else was. It was that small. So the day was fine because it was the daytime. And you could see something coming. If something were there, you'd know it. So I was fine until the night came. Now, after what happened the night before, mind you, I had had feelings, little weird feelings earlier before I went to bed. So it was a weird night before anyway. So that was just a precursor. The second night, Wait, I'm running a little over time, so I will come back and tell you the rest of the story. It's not bad at all.